Hey guys, it's Con B, and today's video, obviously I'm on the screen right now and my mouth is not moving, but I'm going to be explaining to you the basics of using Rec Room Studio, and yeah, once you have everything installed and Unity and the Unity Editor and Rec Room Studio Launcher is all ready to go, um, you'll want to just log into Rec Room, and you'll want to go hit create and create a room. So I'm going to hit create a new room, make a pen room, and we'll call this Unity Tutorial. Hit create, and there we go. It's going to bring us to every room. You won't be able to create rooms in Rec Room Studio. You'll first have to create it just using regular Rec Room. All right, so now that we have a room set up, I'm going to go move over to the Unity Rec Room Studio. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is hit open room after you, you've logged in, of course, and go find that room that you just created. So I called it Unity Tutorial, hit the subroom and hit open room and just wait a moment while that loads up. And what this is doing is it's loading your room and it's also creating a folder for you over here, which I will show you shortly once it uploads. All right, so as you can see, the room is loaded and you could just scroll around and see all the components. So now if I go to rooms over here on the left hand side it will have created this unit unity tutorial room now what i'd recommend doing is of course aside from deleting the walls <laughs> would be to create folders so right click create and create some folders i'll call this one prefabs i'll call this one materials you could also have other folders such as like media for audio clips and videos and so on, um, just to stay organized. And so one thing you'll have to know about Rec Room Studio is in order to upload it, you'll have to add in a welcome mat. So I just did a search for welcome mat V1 and just put that in the room and that will allow you to save all right, so once you have that welcome mat loaded in, you could go to your prefabs and there should already be a lot of rec room objects already incorporated and populated in that folder. Obviously, I have a lot more packages that I've downloaded, maybe too many, but anyway, here's a tree prop that may look familiar and you can find that in Rec Royale. You just drag that in. And there you go, you got a tree. And if you look over here on the top left, you'll see that the bottom items over here are maker pen objects. So those have Rec Room Studio scripts associated with them. Uh, the ones on the top in white, those are just Unity assets. So if you do throw them in, they're going to pretty much be for the most part environmental and you won't be able to interact with them which is okay for a lot of assets that you'll be putting in and you don't really want to move around in rec room and you just kind of want to leave them as is but if you do want to create your own objects or download different packages and have them interact in a rec room. I'm going to show you how to do that. So one thing you could do is you could go to the Unity Asset Store. So if you open up Unity Asset Store, you'll find, um, click on 3D, and you'll notice that there's a bunch of 3D assets for illustrate purposes, I'm just going to pick free and I'm going to pick a free content. So let's pick this food pack. Well, actually, no, I take that back. Let's take, 
let's pick this car because that looks really neat. Um, I'm going to add that to my assets. All right, once you hit accept, you could hit open in Unity and open in Unity editor. So that will bring up the package manager, which you could also open up by clicking on window. But for now, we have the free racing car. You'll want to download that in and import into your assets. All right, so now that that's imported, if I go down to Arcade, there's a new folder, Arcade Free Racing Car. I could then go to the prefabs. All right, what you'll notice here is that the textures and the materials are all going to be pink, and that is because Rec Room Studio only supports uh, Rec Room Studio shaders. So there's an easy way to get around that. What I typically do is I'll select everything in that folder. I'll go to Edit, uh, Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, Upgrade Materials to Universal RP Materials. Sometimes that doesn't always update the thumbnail, but it will update the materials to Rec Room Studio pro um, shaders. So now if I go and I double click on free racing car, there you go. It's no longer pink. And what you could do is you could add that to your maker pen room. Now what I would recommend doing is going to your room and dragging that in as a prefab as a prefab variant and the reason why you want it as a variant is because it will not if you make any changes to the variant you won't make any changes to the original model and it's just a lot easier to keep track of because if you do change your prefab the car will change in your scenes as well, especially if you're using it in different rooms. So now we have our car. So how do we turn the car into a rec room object? We'll want to go to inspector and we'll want to open the prefab variant. So you can either open it here or double click down below and it'll bring up all the pieces of the car, but what we're gonna be interested in is just adding a script uh, component over here. We'll call it the Rec Room Object Script. And you'll notice that you could pick your physics mode and interactions. I'm going to keep it environmental and Let's add one more component. You'll need some sort of mesh collider. Um, so if you could choose box, capsule, um, mesh collider. If you do pick mesh collider, which you can, you are recommended to hit convex or else it will not work properly. If it does have too many sides on the um, shape again it may not update properly and you could go ahead and add a box collider and always add invisible collision in rec room all right so now we have our rec room object we have our mesh collider if we go back to the scene and go hit play it's going to open this up locally on my computer so let's hit that and give it a go while this is uploading, what you'll notice is that the free racing car is now in orange because we added that script, whereas the tree is not because we did not add the script. So I will show you what the script does and you could understand when uh, you want to use the script and when you don't. When you do want to trigger assets and events, you will definitely want the script. And I'm going to do a more in-depth tutorial for those um, 
events and interacting with CP2, but for today I'm just going to do the basics. Alright, so there we go. If I take out my maker pen, you'll see that we have the car, which is a record asset, as well as a circuit board. However, the tree over here, we did not add the circuit to, so you cannot click on it. And if I do try and walk into it, it does have that environmental property. So now let's go back to studio. And if you want to go, and, go ahead and save your build, go hit upload and build. And that will just take a moment and it's going to show you all the assets that it will be uploading to your room. Um, if you do have errors, you'll want to go ahead and look at your console log and figure out what errors those, per, like which objects those pertain to. And if you click on the errors, it should be able to highlight the asset that's giving you the issue. Uh, for now, we haven't had any issues, so we're going to go ahead and hit upload. And now it's going to upload that to the cloud and you're going to see nothing. So the important thing, and this is what I've learned <laughs> the hard way, is you have to stay in the rec room's studio. It'll take probably around like 10 minutes for your build to upload and a little pop-up on the screen will come up to say it's been uploaded to the uh, rec room. So do not leave Rec Room Unity's um, studio until that pop-up does happen. And do not make any changes in your room, especially if you go and log in and want to play around with it before that pop-up does happen. So yeah, if I go back to my dorm room now, in about 10 minutes, I should be able to see my first room. Well, not really my first, but my first tutorial room. If you guys like this video and it's helpful, I'll go into more detail with using the Rec Room Studio events and the interactions with CB2, as well as using the Terrain tool in Unity. Um, there's really so much to do and I'm still learning as well, but hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. Yes. Goodbye, screen wave.